Hello everybody, this is JJ's Free Time here. I thought I'd make a quick um, end of life video of my uh, Philips, I believe. I believe this was a Philips tube. Uh, it's a T5. And, um, yeah, I believe it's a 7 watt or something like that, or 6, I don't know. But, I do know that it's now on its end, and it's time to change it. Unfortunately, I'm not going to change it for a bit, but I want to show you what this looks like when it's on its end of life. At the moment, you can see there's, well, you probably can't see, but I can see there's a tiny bit of purple on the top, showing that it's running out of mercury. The light to you looks bright on video, but to me, this should be all lit, and it's not. The bed normally here is more lit, and yeah, it looks like I'm using a battery on this thing, but I'm not. I'm connected to the mains. See? Mains power. Very simple. So as you can see, this is an end of life light. Um, if anyone could tell me what this is, it could be a Philips, I'm not sure, but it is a Philips light. Um, you once saw this on my channel actually, when I, uh, and if you haven't, it, you know, go there. You'll see a video of uh, me uh, showing you the finds of the days for this thing, you know, like tubes and such. I've already got one of those by the way in my kitchen because uh, two of the lights weren't working and I had to get a new big tube um, which was also a T5 but I believe it was a 13 watt something I don't know I'd put it on the screen if I remember but uh, if I don't then fair enough but uh, there was one that was actually 6 watt I think that's what this one is, a 6 watt but according to uh, my little plug-in meter even when I turn this tube around because that's what you have to do when one the sides have gone on one of these lights you have to turn it around and the life continues with them it wasn't as bright but it works and uh, what I had to do was I put a meter in and apparently it only registered 3 to 4 watts so it just shows the amount of power you lose if you turn the bulb around and um, as you can see yeah this is my end of life uh, so let's get replacing this tube balls already because it's very dim but yet again, I won't be doing it today, maybe when it's gone purple or something. I might even show you a result before I uh, actually change the tube. But there you go, an end of life Philips, question mark, um, T5, 6 watt. So let's get this thing changed. We're now getting to the stage now of the tube. Where it's making funny things like waves and shit at the bottom. And it's flashing. And, uh, yes, interesting end of life. That it would go bright and then not go bright again. It's really funny. But, yeah, I think it's about time we've changed it anyway. I know I keep saying I'm changing it and all that stuff. Maybe I've edited it out, who knows, but, yeah. This camera's not very really good, is it, when it comes up against this. Let's, uh, focus that. Hmm, interesting. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see if I change it in the next shot. Oh, there you go. It goes brighter. You can tell on the wall that it gets brighter and then less brighter. It's flickering like crazy. I want to go to that. So, here we are, guys. Finally, I am going to be changing the tube from this uh, Philips light right here. Done a few mods to it, you know, sticking the hop onto this and you know so it doesn't keep annoying me every time um, actually no I didn't stick the top on what I've done is I've um, stuck the you know the little uh, pin thing in there 
you know, that keeps it powered anyway. Um, so yeah, let's uh, change this tube, shall we? So what we do is we're going to twist this top here, like so. And this is where you can also access the ball on the top. Then what you do is you can simply pop the top off like that. And there you go. Simple. There we go. But you didn't see much of that at all. And then what you do is you just pop this bit off right here. And there you have it. You've got full access to the tube. Anyway, the tube we're going to be replacing is an LLLC T5 6 watt. Um, if you remember back, I actually um, did a find to the day with this. So, yeah, if you want that video, as I said, click that link. Um, the, the card that went on the screen earlier on. Anyway, let's uh, take this tube out. Mm, look at the dark edges. Doesn't it look awesome? Look at that. Can't see much, but yeah. Pretty awesome. I might keep it for a bit, just to uh, so I know what the diameters are of that tube. Let's open out the new tube, and here it is. LLLC. Let's pop you in. Excited to put this in. Been waiting ages, so I ne I, I nearly let it you know go for a while, but. After a while, I just thought, nah, forget it, just flicker and do nothing, let's just change it. And, uh, yeah, looks snug in there. Let's put the lid back on. And put this on, and we can see everything, yes, you can. And, uh, there we go. And uh, yeah, it's got the same tube as these under cabinet lights. Right there. Oh, and uh, it's using one of these tubes as well. So, so there you go, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be now turning this on nearer at night time, and uh, I'm going to show you how bright it is. Um, I noticed that the tone and color on these ones are a little bit more. Um, less blue <laughs> to say and all that sort of stuff so yeah uh, I think it's more of a 4000 than a 6000 or whatever the hell this thing was at one point but yeah I think this was a Philips it doesn't say anywhere on the tube what it is and if you look closely you can see it looks like it's trying to pierce the tube at one point so yeah Interesting, and uh, so yeah, let's power this thing on. So the light now is in its usual place, and uh, we're gonna quickly test that it turns on. And there we go, it's turning on. Very nice, it's very bright actually, and uh, yeah, this is supposed to be longer life. So we'll actually see how it goes. Um, obviously it's not so dark in now, but obviously with the light on it actually is pretty nice um, with it on as well, because it actually does light up part of the bed. But we'll wait until night time, uh, wait until the lights are all on, and uh, we'll turn this on and uh, see how this goes as a uh, little night light thing for me uh, in bed. Um, yeah, the toning color is definitely different. Uh, it is definitely more um, more rich than the blue color. So I'm guessing that the other one was more like six thousand or eight thousand K. I don't even know if that's even existing. But yeah, this one is extremely um, different in the color. As you can see, it's more like a warm white than a blue. So yeah, that shows a lot of things with this thing. Uh, so yeah. Um, We'll wait until night time and see how it goes. Okay, um, it's way past night time now. It's actually 4 o'clock in the morning. But yes, I am very pleased with the 
install of the tube and uh, it's done a very good job um, bit of a flick of trouble on the top of the tube but it's a new tube so it would do that it's not doing it as much now but yeah it's lit up nicely the bed is lit up nicely it's very bright actually 4000k apparently going to the tube but yeah anyway thanks very much for watching guys cheers